Hey guys, Silent Sierra here. Welcome to another special unboxing video with me. So, as you know, um, tomorrow on the 29th of April 2018, or rather, well, the year doesn't really matter because <laughs> the character that we're going to celebrate her birthday, um, well, she's not born yet. <laughs> uh, so, interestingly enough, yeah, her birthday is on the 29th of April. Uh, if you don't know by now, Rank Ranka Lee is actually one of my uh, utmost favourite characters in all anime series. Uh, she has been um, a darling to me for, well, since I could remember. Um, and yeah, she's my number one waifu if you guys um, recognise the term in otakuism. So yeah, so we're going to celebrate her birthday, um, which is by the time you watch this video, it's today. Uh, but I actually pre-recorded this uh, one day or so before uh, because there's quite a bit of unboxing to be done. So uh, don't mind the room, it's still in the process of um, getting neat. <laughs> Anyways guys, uh, I have quite a bit of um, figurines to unbox and I'm, I'm quite prepared for this so I even worn the shirt, so Ranka's shirt, so don't mind my pudgy body. <laughs> so anyways, uh, I'll change the camera view uh, So now we're gonna do the unboxing uh, You won't have to see my face as much So, bye Alright guys, so for today's unboxing I have four figures here um, We're gonna start with probably the smallest one to the most expensive one Out of all these four um, Nini, the Sikan Hiko, Sayonara no Tsubasa um, Price C from Ichiban Kuji is the most expensive. Um, these figures are, I would say, below the range of Singapore dollars of 10, uh, 10 to 20. So the smaller ones definitely will be under 10 dollars. Um, these are definitely something that you can get very cheap. But the problem is these are blind boxes and they are kind of out of mix. So um, if you really want to find all these miniature versions of uh, the figures. You probably have to dig deep under the second-hand stores wherever you have in your country or maybe in Japan itself or maybe in Taiwan if you if you are frequent visitor to Taiwan. Taiwan has a lot of um, cheap figurines but do take note Taiwan do sell um, imitations of these figurines so uh, just be very careful and mindful of what you purchase. So yeah, well, let's get down to unboxing these four figurines. There's a lot more to go so this is going to be part one of a whole series of Ranka Lee's birthday unboxing. Um, I don't know how many videos there will be in total, but I can expect maybe about three to three to four videos of unboxing because there's a lot of figurines. So, <laughs> guys, let's get down to it. Um, okay, so I eventually might fast forward certain power portions of the unboxing because. Um, opening them up might take a bit of time. Okay, so here we go. The tiny version of Ranka in her, well, I would say band costume, <laughs> kind of. Uh, but, you know, um, Okay, so these figures, they're usually the tiny ones, right? Uh, when I purchase them, I would select the costume designs only that they don't have them in the larger versions of the figurines. So yes, this particular one here does not come in a larger size figurine. So this Ranka is definitely a must buy for me. Um, because, yeah, there is no large size figurine of this costume. So, pretty cute. Um, the stand is adorable. It has like K-Tycoon at the bottom. Not sure if you can see it. But yeah. So very very cute. Okay, I'm gonna place her here. Uh, hopefully it's safe. <laughs> I think it's safe. Alright, so moving on, let's do this one next. So we have the white and brown version. Uh yeah, so it's like Ranka's version of a uh, universal bunny. So yeah. Okay. Fast forwarding again.
Alright, so as you can see, this figure doesn't have uh, dissected ligaments and body parts. So it's one whole figure with just the stand separated uh, in the box, which is okay. I mean, look at the quality of this thing. This is one of those, um, I would say, um, easily gotten figurines um, that was from the UFO Catcher series, if I'm not wrong. Uh, it was released way back then. Uh, so yeah, looking at the details, even for a figurine from 2008 or maybe 2010, whoever, who, who, I mean, I can't really remember when exactly it was released, uh, but it was for the 30th anniversary of my cross, so five years ago. So five years ago, 2013, okay, so 2013, uh, the quality of the figurines back then were pretty awesome as well. And look at the shoes, it's like the puff balls at the back, so, so very adorable. And yeah, the stand is pretty decent, I guess, but overall, I think the expression on Ranka's face is the main key. Yeah, so good job to the uh, figuring modeler, um, whoever designed this. This is, this is something very, very um, special, I would say, because you don't really see Ranka do this kind of face very often, uh, especially a sexy pose like this. Uh, maybe There are sexier versions of Ranka, but you know, considering that she doesn't really do sexy very often. <laughs> okay, moving on to the next one. I will keep the Seikan Hiko one as the last one because that's probably something more, um, I would say, special to everyone who loves Ranka because that's probably the most iconic figuring uh, costume that you can probably get of Ranka ever. Alright, so this one, the Nurse DXF figuring. So it's another Ichiban or the Karen King. So you can see it's a UFO catcher price. So yeah, let's go. Okay, so here we go. We have Ranka in a nurse costume. Uh, very, very adorable. I love the bright green hair that she has in this version. Uh, probably from those projection feet um, hologram costumes where they can actually change the costume colors and the hair colors of the divas themselves as well. Loving the stockings with the uh, cross logo here. And the base is pretty cute as well. It's good pink and the, all the flowery designs with the heart shaped patterns here and there. Um, so this is definitely another iconic um, costume that a lot of the cosplayers would have probably cosplayed. I've seen quite a few cosplayers do this costume and it's very very cute, um, very elegant at the same time um, because well it's a nurse costume with an uh, apron <laughs> and a dress. How often do you see nurses wear a dress with an apron? Uh, plus angel wings at the back end. Sadly to say this thing, uh, I, I was struggling with it if you guys noticed it in the fast forward motion because um, the hole um, wasn't really done very properly as you can see it's still sticking out a bit. Uh, I'm not sure that you can actually see it but yeah, uh, I might have to end up gluing it together because if I don't want to lose this back piece, uh, yeah, that's the only issue here. And of course, uh, Ranka with her finger pose like a picture frame, that's very adorable as well. So as you can see, um, so far all the UFO catch-up prizes have been very good in terms of quality. Even the facial features of Ranka, you can see like the painted eyes and all this. Plus the, the fang and the mouth, that's pretty adorable, uh, yeah. Alright, so on to the last one, let's move this on quickly because there are a lot of figures to unbox, <laughs> so here we go guys, I'm gonna fast forward again. Okay, surprisingly enough, this one didn't take very long. Um, mainly because this figuring is just by itself, it's standalone. Um, if you notice, this isn't exactly the most exquisite uh, of Ranka Sekan Hiko costumes. There was another version of the Ichiban Kuji um, that had uh, Aikun at the corner. So I didn't get that. Uh, I didn't notice there was another version of it. So eventually I might have to get another one. Um, but this one comes with the shiny costume. So as you can see the material for her dress is kind of like a glossy material. It looks glossy but actually it isn't. So 
Yeah, and her. Yeah, let's take a take a close closer look up. I love the color of her hair. So it has all the different green tones, like lighter green, darker green. Uh, they give her the shading effect, and of course her her iconic Kira pose. The microphone is very adorable as well. All the ribbons and all this that make her costume very very cute. And of course under the under the under the top blouse, I don't know why they call it top piece. Oh, this skirt is movable. Hmm. <laughs> so, uh, is it strippable? I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, you can see Ranka's slender body. I'm loving this. So it's like you can see her very nice figure um, underneath her top um, piece of her clothing, and of course the all all knowing. Um, I would say f fetish for most fans. I guess some of them. Um, what do you call it again? Uh, Zetai Roki. So yeah, the portion between the skirt and the, the stockings where the, 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 legging, the legs are being shown. So very nice. Very nicely done. So here we have the back of the costume and Ranka's iconic ribbon at the back of her hair. And yeah, here we go. Very very cute adorable ribbon with the rose in the center. Alright guys, so that's pretty much it for all the Ranka figurines. Uh, I have to say the second Hiko one is a bit unstable because the back foot isn't lodged into the the, the panel or rather the, the display plate. Uh, it's just placed into that um, this thing here. So it's it's not really attached so it's kind of risky if you were to put it on an unstable um, flooring just like my bed here <laughs> so <laughs> that's pretty much all the figurines i have for now uh thank you guys so much for watching and look forward to another few more videos of unboxing of for Raka Lee. Uh, i've got like a whole bundle of them if you guys follow me on facebook and instagram and all that you probably see like seen like my photo of the whole stack of Ranka figures that I've probably got to unbox so <laughs> these are just four of them uh, hopefully you've enjoyed watching this um, these are some adorable cute Ranka figures uh, and we've got more to come so I'll see you guys in the next unboxing video until then bye